Hello trainers, Ganeto here and today we have a lot of action on Great League with a very meta line. So this team is familiar to a lot of you but uh, lately Galarian Stunfisk is not that good on the offensive part. So overall we're just gonna go at it with uh, Pelipper being shiny as well for the little bit of a flex. And at the back we have another shiny but this time on the face of Venusaur. So Stunfisk is not shiny at all but it is gonna be used as a safe switch here. Uh, at this point we want to respect the damage from that weather ball against this Ninetales as we can get to the double fresh plant to finish off this Pokemon. Normally a sludge bomb will do the trick against any fairy type but uh, obviously here they are getting super low so getting that uh, slightly lower energy cost move with the fresh plant up against them is the more optimal choice. So right now we're just gonna bring them to no HP with the final fresh plant and let's see what they have as their next Pokemon. Uh, so they're turning the battle with that Umbreon and we have one more big Frezzy plant for them. They're gonna take it, almost goes down to a simple move and now Stanfis can easily go in, tank the moves and of course farm down with those mud shots. At the back whatever they have must be weak to our Pokemon so they're just gonna leave this battle and we're gonna take the early victory. In the next turn now we're having kind of a bad lead against this Deoxys and it's not kind of a bad lead, it is a bad lead because this Pokemon can easily get to the double Thunderbolt before we finish them off so they can easily get uh, the uh, knockout on the one shield scenario or they can just go with a Psycho Boost and still be able to knock us down even after the debuff with the Thunderbolt. So yeah, this is how much weak we are to those electric moves and here is where the backline can help with that matter, especially against Lantern because you have two Pokemon that can definitely counter down those electric types and we have to play accordingly. So over here we're gonna go down to that Sebel I believe and now we have on the switch Venusaur. Uh, so they have a Venusaur of their own and at this point we can take so much damage. So I will try to go here for the bait and the rock slide will take the first shield out of play. So obviously I have to go ahead and overcharge here to that earthquake. Uh, while I need to switch out right on time before they farm me down. With that strategy we have to go ahead and block all those sludge bombs that they're gonna throw up against us but they are, they are already on the next one before we even reach to our first sludge bomb. So at this point now they will turn the battle with the Sebelite trying to catch the move but, but we over farm a little bit more and that is gonna be the end for them because one Frenzy plant will be more than enough for the Sebelite and the sludge bomb to guarantee the knockout against that uh, uh, Venusaur. Into the next one now against Pantella Post who is a local trainer from my area and uh, right here we're gonna have another Deoxys up the front. So this trainer knows what to do against Pelipper because they're gonna get to the Psycho Boost and still gonna push for that uh, Thunderbolt but we know better because now we'll try to snipe them down with the Hurricane. Are they gonna expect it? No respect to the Hurricane. Down goes this Deoxys and let's see what they have at the back. Seeing here that Vigoroth coming in so easily uh, makes me think that uh, they must have something like a Scrafty or an Obstagoon at the back. So that's why I will bring into the battle my Stunfisk because I know that I'm gonna get weak no matter what to this uh, backline and all we can do here is to push for that uh, extra damage with the Earthquake. However, I'm getting a little bit too greedy here for no reason at all and they will throw that Night Slash as soon as they get there. Doesn't matter, we still have Venusaur which can resist those fighter moves uh, by a lot and at this point they get that uh, boost on their side. Things aren't looking that great but hopefully we can still win all those CMPs which means that we might actually be able uh, to get to the next uh, CMP point right in time. And before we do anything weird, yeah I'm just gonna throw pretty early. I could go easily here for that extra push but what I want to do as it seems I want to go ahead and switch out immediately to my Pelipper, uh, force that CMP MP, and of course we can do some cheap damage on that Obstagoon. They will take us out, this is a race to the farm down, now we have the Frezzy plan ready to go and Vigoroth cannot stand the chance against our Wrath and we're gonna take a very close victory against a skillful trainer. 
Now we're gonna hop into the next one battlers and let's see what this trainer has to offer because uh, nine tails on the Alona form and on Shadow will be up in front. We need to switch out of there as soon as possible and we get uh, uh, the pair up with Medjam. This is why Stanfisk doesn't work that well anymore. Uh, they're always gonna have something like a Medjam or another fighter at the back or even a Swambert waiting for you. And this trainer runs dynamic punch for the Nook against my Steel type. You know what? I'm gonna take it. Doesn't matter. We still have taken one shield out of them and uh, still we can rely here on the Pelper going for the extra farm and of course reaching to the Hurricane for the knockout. They will try to shield because as it seems uh, they might think that we have a double steel backline and at this point by not uh, uh, revealing our final Pokemon they're just gonna go ahead and shield twice that Medicham. So we can obviously go ahead and farm down here but to my surprise they can still reach to a final Ice Punch. Uh, so we're gonna go down, actually they are gonna go down, but now we have only one shield and at the back they have a leaky tank and uh, that is gonna be kinda weird for this battle because all we have to do is to go for the double frenzy plant but still we need to take that move that they're gonna throw. I know we can survive but can we get to a double move before they farm us down? This is the real question so I have to throw here the frenzy plant. Are we already there on that sludge bomb? Yes we are, down goes nine tails in one shot and we're gonna take this victory with ease. Into the next one now with that Sableye up in front. So Pelper is looking kinda good up against them and of course I will always try to charge up as much as I can pretty close to that Hurricane or even more than that and I know that since I can win those CMPs I can easily go with the Weather Ball Baits as soon as we get to that Hurricane range. Uh, anyways at the switch though we're met up with that lantern and this is still looking pretty good for us because since lantern is out of the way with that simple earthquake we can still go ahead and survive those surfs and uh, complete the farm down by surviving with a little bit of HP. Now we will wait for their next pokemon which is the return of the Sableye and still we have a lot of energy to spare at least one earthquake up against them. So big damage output on the Sableye and I know that I still can guarantee the knockout with the double weather. Ball. They are gonna block which is a big block now we can still get to the next weather ball but they were expecting it so here comes now wheezing. Uh, to my knowledge I think that Sepelai still has some energy to throw so we need to be extremely careful with that final shield of ours and we're gonna go down now to this brutal swing. It's all good because at this range we can still go in with our Venusaur, farm down and of course they will leave this battle because we have the upper hand no matter what happens with that energy that Sepelai is having since we still have one sealed up and remaining for the end game. Now for this next battle we're having Gligar on the switch so this Pokemon is never good news for us uh, so especially when it is on the shadow. Here comes a dig, big damage on the Stanfisk but hopefully we can resist those wing attacks so they will be kinda uh, obliged in using the remaining energy and because we have here that CMP and we can still uh, guarantee kinda the next rock slide before we go down I'm just gonna spend one seal just to see how they want to respond and and right after we have one more rock slide. Not gonna spend another shield, this time we have the Gligar right where we want it to be uh, since we can easily farm down with our Pelper without caring much about the next aerial ace. Uh, so down they go in the process with those wing attacks, we know that they have this lantern but at the back they have a leaky tank as well. We saw before that we can still guarantee the victory against this leaky tank but we need to be extremely careful with our Venusaur. Big damage for the first one and right next up they have their first move coming up so bot slam here cannot uh, be appreciated at this point but they have back to back already this will bring us at a critical point but we still have a double frenzy plant ready to go they are gonna block another one is coming up but can we reach to the next frenzy plant before they reach to their serve this is the main question i'm trying to catch in the process but as it seems this is not gonna work at all and of course we're just gonna go down to this lantern since we have almost no HP at all on our Shiny Venusaur. 
into the final one now trainers and let's see how this is gonna unfold because they have a Sableye up in front. What a surprise! Everyone is using Sableye because of those Deoxys and Medicams I believe. Uh, so anyways, uh, right here we need to respect the damage from that foul play and as I'm charging up to that Hurricane I will just throw here my Weather Ball. So my opponent sets to cuts and this is an amazing cuts for them but hopefully not a Hurricane on the Steel type. Can you imagine that? All that energy screwed up? Yeah, I would not like that scenario at all and right after I'm just gonna bring my stun disc into play this is weird because they can still uh, give us the knockout if they want to but as it seems on this incident we can go ahead and push for the knockout on the one cell scenario uh, at this point they have at the back a grid and they're gonna get to their move as soon as they get there because they want to avoid I believe uh, the rock slide or even the earthquake uh, so here comes now a move which I decide to take I believe and this does well way less than I expected, not even half, and we can easily guarantee another move on our Venusaur without sweating a lot. Uh, so we know that they have the move Matsut, which is uh, pretty nice to charge up those bot slams and the crunches, but at this point we're just gonna go ahead and block whatever they throw since we have another fresh plant coming up. So here comes now the big move, they're gonna take it on the Sebelai, down they go, and right after the Hurricane will bring that Gridden super low that we can easily finish off in one shot so that is gonna be all for today trainers thank you for watching and for staying till the end just be sure to leave a huge like before you go and please consider subscribing to my channel if you want to see more of my content here on youtube and speaking of more of my content i have two videos for you to check out feel free to check them out and i will see you all into the next one